Hey you guys, so today we're looking at this, which is a um, play, variant play arts sky version of War Machine, or a clone of a play arts sky War Machine, or a War Mahan, as they've spelled it on from there. Not only have they, at least I am dyslexic, I am Formica, um, but even I know that you do not spell War Machine like that. And even I know that the word legend creations is not spelt with an R. Um, they put this on a lot of these clones. Uh, the Harley Quinn that I had the other day that was in the same range. Um, Play Arts, Kai, whatever it's called. Um, they'd put legend creations on that and they'd spell it right all over the box. I can see the box from here and it is spelt correctly all over it. This one they've spelt it there. There, there, uh, one on the back, there, one on the bottom, which is upside down, and that one there, and they are all spelt absolutely wrong. Um, but maybe that's, maybe that's the way, but then if it's the fake name, why spell the fake name wrong? Yeah. So on the inside, we have some very nice artwork, as you can see there, and all this, all this reading to do. Um, don't let the look fool you. I'm not the other guy. And if you think that's going, getting off easy, you're in for a world of hurt when you second guess War Machine. <laughs> Lieutenant James Rhodey Rhodes. I am not reading all that out to you. Because it'll take me forever being dyslexic and I'll get it all wrong and have to start again. Uh, the topic says far reaching evil and a Oppressive forces seek to bend the world to their will, and it seems the world has never before faced such insurmountable odds. However, the universe is just yet populated with powerful individuals who uphold the great mantle of responsibility laid on their shoulders by that strength. In times of great peril, heroes always rise to the call. They answer the cries for justice, defend the defenceless, and avenge the wronged. Whether designing from whether descending from realms beyond, accepting an unaccepted genetic gift, unexpected genetic gift, see, I'm dyslexic, genetic gift of forging their own identity, this pantheon of heroes is vast and splendid. This is a world of Marvel Universe. So yeah, nice artwork there. There is some artwork of him on the back, which the only problem I have with this is that it's kind of all done... Um, as drawings. None of it is actually what you're getting inside, which I don't know if the real boxes are like that. But on this one, it's definitely like that. This bit of artwork here does look a little bit like the movies. But anyway, right, let's get to the figure. Now, this was packed like this with the innards. This was all folded with the innards outwards, if that makes sense. Um, so I did crease the boxes rather creased, and this inlay card is also rather. Uh, bashed up and banged about, as you can probably see. We moved that off of there. This has all the um, instructions on where to fit the guns and things, uh, and how to build the stand, which is there, and uh, that bit there at the bottom, which I don't understand. Uh, yeah, these are what what they call instructions. Apparently, it does say play arts figure Kai on the stand there. As is pie arts. That's not an L, that's more of an I. Um, but yeah, these are instructions and I'm a man, so I will never read these. Such a shame. Right, let's get to the figure. Now, I'll be honest, I slit the cellar tape earlier on because I had a quick look. Well, it was out of the box. I can help it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit there and not have a play around with it. So, there's the figure. And we shall move this out of the bay. He comes with a selection of guns, hands, and yeah, there looks to be a gun missing there. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Hmm. Anyway, so ta -da! he stands quite nicely. Um, now, I will tell you a little interesting story. I have this one, which is one of the first ever things I bought from AliExpress. And um, I was like, wow, got it out of the box. I was like, oh, paint job's not brilliant. Twisted it to put it into the action pose and broke that bit off. I have since glued it, but as you can see, it ain't perfect. But for standing on the shelf, it's pretty good. So it is 
reasonable height. This put me off buying any more of these in this set because I always thought the paint job and things were a bit naff on it. The Harley that I got was so much better. This seems okay so far. I am a little bit confused by why it's got so much pink, purple on there. There is there is some interesting colours in there. Let's move in a little place. There's some interesting shades on there. Have a look at the face, which is pretty good. Like articulation, we have not a lot of give back because his, his own neck gets in the way there. Uh, looks that way, looks that way, down. That neck does move in there, but with these bits and that bit there, there's not a lot of place for it to move. The arms have got like a bold socket in there. Give that way, give that way, they go around. The elbows, kind of 90. It is a pin which has come off, but the great thing about these, it plugs back in. I'm not sure if there's a swivel there, but I don't think it really needs a swivel there, for now, anyway. Uh, that bit does click backwards, reasonable, so you will be able to put him into a slightly better flight mode than I was thinking. It does come forward as well. Um, a little bit loose maybe, but I'd rather have it like that than that one which went and broke. Um, the middle bit there has got some maneuverability in it, but this bit here is obviously going to stop it. Up to there, back to there. Not a lot of out because its own hip there is kind of stopping it. Um, it looks like it has a swivel in there, but that is that's going to be needed to be warmed up and repositioned. The knee joint, which feels quite sturdy, ooh, all the way up to there. It has toe bend, and the foot has in here a nice amount of click to it. Uh, not a lot of swivel either way, but he he does stand quite. Quite nicely. Yeah. That um, was pretty good. Paint job. Um, isn't too bad. It's not as bad as the other one. Do Iron Man. And so these joints, I think, I will warm them up with the old hairdryer. And reset them. But they are in kind of a they're in an okay place. It's just I've I've got a bit of a thing for straightening things. <laughs> Right, so let's have a look at what weapons we get. So we've got two very big guns, which have ball jointed options on the bottom there. I guess they must plug in there. Tell you what, let's have a look at the picture on the back of the box. Oh my giddy arms, I'm looking at the instructions. So, they go, alright, they go on, they go down here. Which means, seems more logical. Like so, yeah. Right, so that's going to be, I guess we put the instructions out. Yeah, you can't really tell from the artwork on the box. But yeah, there we go. So we can take that out, which is the, that strange bit around the side there. There's some guns for the side of his wrist. Right, okay. Split that stuff. Oh no, all the guns are in here. Right, okay. So, we have plethora of weaponry, missile laundry things. Wow, I'm, I'm, you know the more I'm getting this out of the box, I'm actually sat in most of the boxes, there's a lot of it. Um, these hands are impressive. The wrong way around, but impressive, yeah. Okay, so we've got these which are some kind of rocket launchery things. So, I'm going to say that. Let's move him just over there a sec. There we go. Block him out. 
Yeah. And they're nicely painted as well, I have to say. Hmm, impressive. Uh, that's the other one, which has a, again, a slightly different shape to it. And all the joints are nicely articulated. That one's kind of weird because it, I guess it goes like that. Hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, that one's that one. Uh, that's, and then we have little uh, little wrist mounted things. So let's have a look. Where do these go? Breaking all the rules. I'm reading the instructions again. So the little guns go the back and the big guns go at the front. So let's have a look. So Okay, I'll try that one instead. Hmm, they need flash tidying off them and things. You see if. Because that's not quite a hole. Remember, don't try this at home, kids. Go around a friend's house, do it there. Right, starting to go in. Yeah, with a bit of warmth and a little bit of fiddling right now let me see if there is a left and a right for these so looking at it like that this looks like it doesn't really matter and the box that's on that side and that's on that side so that one goes in there, like that, and that one. Oh, they fit a lot better. Wow, that is impressive. Um, let's have a look. See if we make these almost just a little bit bigger. I'm thinking maybe this should be the other way around really. See if that fits better. And the bigger gun should be at the back. Yeah. Well we'll have a fiddler in them, but you get the idea. That is actually that is pretty impressive. I kind of like that. Let's do a quick extreme close up. Yeah, that is a nice, a nice weaponry. Um, the, like I said, the purple, pink, whatever you want to call it, is a bit of an odd colour. Put his toes flat. That is actually nice, is that? I'm, I'm impressed. I say I'll take that out of there. And plug the other gun in. I've got ammo packs and things around the back here. Uh, they fit in nicely. Nice pans. The armor's not sort of, I'm going to put it, as tatty looking as one of the others. There is a, a logo there, look. Marble made in China. In China. All these things come from China. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I am impressed. If this had been the first one of these I'd got instead of that one, I do think the KO market has come on a long, long way over the last few years. And this is a nice figure. And I may have to either repaint this one or see if I can find something in the same vein 
it's in a better condition. Hmm. Yeah. When you think of how much, you know, I think these are like 150 quid now for the, the genuine ones. So what I paid for this was a pretty good price. I will put a link uh, underneath as well uh, to find it on AliExpress. I will also, seeing as somebody will ask me, he stands uh, about 25 and a half centimetres tall to the top of his head to the top of his guns is a bit taller um, this side 10 inches but yeah I am impressed let's like say he's got the other gun as well which I will fiddle about with and maybe put that down and I kind of like it like that with just the one but that is that is a cool figure um, here he is with um, one of my other war machines and the uh, Marvel Legends war machine I'll put a link to that one I'll put a thing at the end because that's a, a company that isn't it's not Marvel Legends but it's not an illegal company it's a company that making them in uh, China and Japan and places like that so but yeah that gives you an idea of what he looks like next to the uh, Marvel Legends war machine so yeah that is a brilliant figure and if you have enjoyed this video, all you have to do, hit the likes, hit the shares, hit the subscribe. Please share this with your friends. Stick this video on Facebook, on um, Instagram, on anywhere. You have my permission to, as long as you don't put your name on it, you have your permission, my permission to share the crap out of this video. Yeah, let everybody see it because I want the world to see these because I think they are brilliant figures at a great price. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe, stay well. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great night. And me and War Machine will see you all in the next video. Bye now.